In today's video, we're going to talk about using Canva for family trees for your characters. You can use family tree for your family, but also for your characters, which will help you kind of sort out who is who, who has their children, who their parents are, you can put little notes with them, even their ages, whatever you'd like. I also like to put a picture with them so that I have kind of a general description of what the character looks like. So stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe, share this video, and we're going to go right into it. Let's talk family trees. So these two I don't actually need here. <laughs> but they're for another family tree later, maybe. At least one of them is. And one of the pictures I actually like I might use for something else. So this particular family tree here. Let's... Can I pop that down? Oh, yeah, I can. Isn't that sweet? Oh, can I control and go a little bit closer? Oh, yes, I can. So what we're doing today is I am in Canva. Canva is a very nice program. They have a free setting and then they also have a premium setting where you can either choose to pay a monthly fee or you can pay an annual fee to use. Um, so they have a lot of different uh, abilities and uses. And one of the things that I like to do with my characters, just so I kind of know who's related to who, who has kids, things that are going on, and gives me just kind of a general overview of what the characters look like, is to put together some family trees. So over time, my Ramsley um, Brothers book series has grown bigger because we started off with the first three brothers, Michael, Noah, and Max, and then we have grown to their cousins. So... As we're growing, they're, you know, having some children, various things are going on. And this just kind of gives me a quick little, um, a little thing about everybody. So what I do is I go and I find um, elements. So we go into photos. So in this case, I chose businessmen. And you can, you know, replace these beautiful little pieces right here. And you can choose somebody that you like. You can move your photo around. You can make it bigger or smaller as to what you need. And it continues to have this lovely little thing. Now, I grabbed um, this from a template. I'm going to bring that back to who it was before. But I grabbed this from a template. And there are various family trees that you can choose from. So use the one that works best for you. Um, you can duplicate and you can move it around so that you can have more. You can delete them uh, over here. Copy, paste, duplicate, delete, and make comment. Ooh, you can link it to a link somewhere. Uh, we can detach the image so we can just take the image off entirely or apply colors to the page. So in this case, we're just going to delete it because that one's an extra one. And you can also move these little lines so you can move them up or down. You can make them shorter, you can make them longer, depending what you need, what you're looking to do. Um, and again, you can also duplicate them, trash them, whatever you need to do. So in this case, we have David and Rachel. Um, I've given just kind of a brief description about them so that I know a little bit of what's going on. And then we have their children as well. So um, Michael and Anne have their Amy and the triplets. Noah and Al have their two sets of twins, lucky them, and then little Neil. And then uh, Max and Paget have their Morgan and Ryder. I still have to make a uh, family tree with his illegitimate families because <laughs> David has gotten around. So we need to make up some um, other families so that we know who's who, what's going around, because some of it's going to come up again in later books. So this was kind of the first book, and this is where we're currently sitting at when it comes to the who is who. Now, then we have the insurance side, because I have put in their little family business as well. So we've got Robert and Beverly, um, and we have Jake, Everett, and Dylan are their three sons. And Everett and Bree who we met in, oh, what was it? In Pursuit of a Billionaire. And then this one, hmm, 
was stranded with the billionaire and reluctant husband. So we wanted to put this bit in here because they have a very blended family. So we've got Josh, who's Kelly's stepbrother. We have Shannon, who passed away um, from Dylan. We have Cece, who's Caden's friend, and she's going to uh, show up in future books, which is why she got a little um, place of honor. And then Caden and Avery are Dylan's two children from his first marriage. And Bentley is from Kelly's first marriage. And then they are going to have a baby boy together. Oh, and guess what? We do know the name of that baby boy. I should probably put it in. Spoiler alert! They're having a little Jackson. Ask me why, but it's a cute little name and that's what we went with. Okay, so little Jackson is there and he's going to be a Christmas baby. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Maybe a little bit before Christmas. Ooh, have not decided. We'll see how that goes. And then we have the Ramsley family um, who are in the hospital business. And James has made his lovely decree that Gabe, Parker, and Marshall, if they want to stay in the business, are going to get married within the month. And they're going to um, procreate within a year. And then if the marriage lasts five years minimum, then they can have their inheritances. So James has set this up a little draconian, a little old fashioned, but he set it up and um, we have little beautiful Dorothy. Uh, I didn't actually make a thing for her. Oh dear. Well, we better make a thing for her over here. So, oh, um, I think Dorothy is just, uh, generally a nice person. Uh, two. Oh, it, it gives me two automatically. Oh, isn't that sweet? I didn't even ask it to, and it just does. Okay, generally a nice person. Um, she does love James, respects his decision. And three. I think she really does love her sons. And I know that's very, very vague, but that's kind of who she is. Like, she's just, she's generally just really a nice person. Okay. So we know from convincing him that Brittany and Gabe are getting together. Um, so they're going to have the second slot at the wedding. I have to remember that she has cancer. And he knows about the stolen drug. So does Parker. Parker knows about the stolen drug as well. That's something else that should go in there. about the stolen drug. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, that's going to come to a head eventually. Very important. And then we have um, Adriana and Jasmine who are showing up in the wedding. So they are new characters that are being added to the mix that uh, we will we will learn about more about as we go. So that's very fun. And then I have my Ramsley family from the hotels, and they have five children, Oscar and Mary do, um, Henry, Nate, Garrett, Addison, and Ben. So she has a secret. LW is to remind me of something. Garrett is basically now in control of the hotel business now that Oscar is in prison and... Henry is retiring, and Nate has passed away. So we know that Nate had passed away in convincing him, because we opened pretty much, well, not quite opened with, but we got close to opening with, with, um, with the funeral. And uh, Cora has her little secrets too. So they have Nicholas Oliver, and she has not chosen a name yet for her newest little baby, Ramsley. Um... So yeah, it, it just is one of those things that I find very helpful because you get a general look of what the character looks like. You can play with it by adding in and out photos. You can put l just a few things to remind you of something. Um, you know how everybody's related, who's their parents, things like that. You can put ages with them. You can do whatever you want. You can make it as as intricate and designed as you want but it just gives a great idea of the family tree dynamics and i might have to start putting them in the books just so that everybody can follow who's who 
Um, I used to have a who's who document for Ramsley's and I found that it just didn't translate very well. It wasn't as visual. So these work extremely well for me. And like I said, I'm going to have to put together a uh, illegitimate children one for Mr. David Ramsley because, yeah, there's, there's some stuff going on there. Oh, Parker, I forgot to. Dear Parker, uh, Oscar is his father. That's right. He knows that. Not everybody knows that he knows that, but he knows that. So that has created some animosity between Parker and James. So yeah, this is uh, just a little, a little tool that I find very, very helpful. And I hope that uh, you can enjoy it and work with it too. I hope you enjoyed today's video about learning how to make a family tree on Canva. And if you'd like to get your own subscription to Canva, you just go to canva.com. Again, there is some free, um, free items that you can use, but there's also items associated with Pro. I have no affiliation in any way. I just happen to use the program. I use it for my shorts. I use it for my family tree. I use it for uh, pictures. I use it for all sorts of different things. So it's very useful video. Um, sorry, <laughs> video, video, picture, you know, different uses, catalog. I'm even going to be making a Vinifer, my dog Bean, Vinifer um, coloring book in the future. So it's got all sorts of different uses and I think it's really great. So this is just one of them. And at some point, maybe we'll even show you how to make the coloring book, whatever you'd like. Have a great day and we'll talk to you later.